Hey everyone, it is your coach Ashton Meyer. Lately I've had a lot of people in my groups, on my Facebook, have been dealing with situations and I've been praying for them because a lot of people I know right now are going through a very, very hard time with, a, I mean, a lot of stuff. And I know everyone goes through it every single day. But what I want to hit you on today about this, this stuff is that I've talked over and over that we cannot change the situations that we are in. There is nothing that we can do when something comes at, at us to change that situation. We can't do it. If we have a family member that passes away, we, the, what can you do? What can you do? You can't change that situation. But there is something that can help you get through these situations easier. And I want to let you know a few ways that can help you get through this. If you have followed my videos, you know exactly the one thing that you can do to change the situation. And I know it's so much more easier said than done, but I'm letting you know right now that it is not impossible. It is very possible for you to go through these rough patches, to climb mountains, to cross the ocean. And it's hard, but it's not impossible. You can do it. It's all based on the word of attitude. Your attitude. Your attitude will determine your altitude. One of the most important things that we can actually do in our life is to find ways that we can actually monitor and manage our attitude because that will help us grow who we are and people will be inspired by you because they're going to see you go through something extremely hard. And when you do, and the attitude behind it, those that are like, go through their emotions, but their attitude is great about the situation. You look at them and you're like, I want that. I want to do that. How is it that he can go through all this? Or how is it that she can deal with all this? And have this smile on her face. I mean, I would have never have guessed that she was going through that. I would have never have guessed that he had that going on in his life. And you honestly don't know because those that deal with a situation with a positive attitude or a great attitude, you probably don't know unless they would tell you or unless they would open up about it because they're going to continue to sit there and smile. They might have gone through their emotions, yes, because we don't want to hold things in. We don't want to hold how we're feeling in and we actually want to get them out to people. But we need to know, hey, I'm dealing with this right now. And you need to find the steps to bring that great attitude up. You need to find the steps to build and manage your attitude. One of the first things that you can do is self motivation by affirmations. What is affirmations? Well, as I found out in the five love languages that my number one in feeling loved is words of affirmation. And that means being lifted, uplifted, you know, people telling me, hey, you inspired me. That brings my love tank to go, woo. So I know that that's off of the subject, but what you can do to build your attitude is give yourself self-motivation, words, words, words of affirmation to yourself. So every single day that you wake up, if you're going through a situation of, let's say you're going through a breakup, go into the mirror, look at yourself. Yes, I'm not kidding. This might sound silly, but you have no idea the power behind your mindset. Your mindset is where everything, your attitude, your mindset, your belief 
is where everything is. So go into that mirror and look at yourself. If you were, if you felt down, downgraded or whatever it may be, you go through that breakup, go into the mirror and tell yourself, I am beautiful. I'm loved. I have confidence. I will be okay. I'm a great person. I have a kind heart. Anything that you want to tell yourself, that you want to believe in yourself, you need to speak to yourself and look at yourself in the eyes. Look at yourself in the eyes and speak it. Because once you continue to speak those words daily, you build that positive momentum in your life. Self-motivation requires enthusiasm, a positive outlook, positive psychology, and it puts a belief in your God-given potential. That's what it does. That's why it's so important for self-motivation. The next thing that you can do to raise your attitude up is the powerful way of visualizing. Visualizing. Have you ever sat and visualized something that you've wanted so bad and you continue to do that every single day and bam, there it is. There's actually studies that have showed the power behind visualizing. So, and this is something that I actually need to take in consideration for myself because I don't do it all that often unless I'm talking about it. So. Note to self, note to Ashton, this is a challenge for me. I want to visualize every single day. Set that plan in motion. So if you are wanting to get healthy and fit, you need to close your eyes. You obviously need your goals. You go through your goals and everything. But I know that I've mentioned this before. Of I've had a lot of people who are getting married here soon and they want to fit into wedding dresses and they're wanting to get in a certain size for their wedding. So what can you do? You can wake up after you give yourself that self motivation and telling yourself, Hey, you know, you're great. You're amazing. Go into visualizing, close your eyes and visualize you standing up on the little pedestal in this dress that they brought out to you and it's the size that you wanted to get into and you're picturing yourself standing there standing tall in the most gorgeous beautiful dress that absolutely fits your body and you have that glow and that smile and you have your family and friends sitting next to you just emotional because you know that it's, 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 it's it. It's it. You found it. The best part was that you put all that hard work in and you achieved your goal that you wanted. You did it. When you visualize that, if you visualize that picture in your mind every single day, every single morning, yes, let me tell you here this quick. This stuff is going to take time out of your day, but what is it really worth to you? I'm telling you, your attitude behind everything, you doing this stuff is taking a fraction of a moment to better yourself and your life, to live to your maximum potential. What is it to you for your, the expansion of your life that you're going to live? These moments take them. You're not too busy to look into a mirror. I don't care if you're, if you are on a break at work and that's when you tell yourself, or if you're in your mind visualizing this, when you're working, when you're driving, we're, we are not too busy to take care of ourselves. This is what we have to live with. We ourselves are what we have to live with. That is why I read my Bible. And I know that if I don't read my Bible in the morning, my day doesn't go as planned. And that was like today. So after this video, I'm going to read my Bible. And these are words that will keep me pumped up for the rest of the day. I'm going to sit and visualize what I want.
But now again, back to the to visualizing. If you put that picture in your head every single day, you will start to do things because you visualize that. You will be like, oh, I'm really crazy. Oh, no, that wedding dress. You know, I visualized that this morning and yep, this 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 candy bar, it ain't worth it. Poof! Just get rid of it. <laughs> just throw it. Throw it. Get rid of it. So visualize because it's such a powerful, powerful thing in our life. There's so many more things that I want to talk about attitude that I'm probably going to make this into a two video. But the next thing that I want to talk about is the word wow. Wow. How is wow going to help your attitude? Wow. <laughs> wow stands for watch your words. Well, not watch your words. Watch our words. And how that works is what we say, we cannot get back. We cannot take the words that we say back. They are there. You said them. You, you said it. You said it. What we speak is a reflection of what's in our hearts. Just based upon the belief that you have upon yourself. So when you're getting ready to make a judgmental comment or speak negatively about the situation that you're going in or the circumstances that are coming your way or the people that are around you, think of that word. Pop it in your head. Wow. You know what? Just say that. <laughs> you, have, you have something that comes at you that you're like, oh my goodness. I, I mean, think of that word just, wow. Say it. Right now, say it. Say, wow. Watch our words. You need to watch your words because your words is the path. There's, you can direct your path just by the words that you speak. So speak positively and remember, remember that word wow. Because that comes from your heart. I know this video is long enough. I have more that I want to talk about with attitudes. I hope that that gives you some insight on how you can help change your attitude and direct your attitude because we can't change the circumstances that are in our life. And if this video had any type of a positive aspect in your life, please share it with others. The more people that, that I can reach and the more people's lives that I can turn around into a positive manner, the better. But you know what? By you sharing this video, by you sending this to someone, that's showing the care and love that you have for that person. So share it. Also comment below with your, your circumstances. You know, maybe you, you're going through something and this video helped you get through it. Post about it. I know it's hard to, to talk about this stuff that we go through, that we struggle with, because we don't want people to judge us. But that's not what... There's one person that has the capability of judging, and that's God. No matter what anyone else says, you are you because of what you've done and where you've been in your life, and you can't be afraid to share that. So share it below. I look forward to hearing all of your guys' situations and how you are overcoming them, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Talk to you later.